Greetings, YouTube. I have received so many requests and submissions already for commentary, uh, six-star featured crystal, shall we say, data. And Whaler213 is uh, at the top of that list with 51. Now, that's not to say you have to send me, you know, 50-plus in order to get a commentary, but it sure is a nice way to kick things off for a new six-star featured crystal season. And really, we're most concerned about two things what the feature drop rate is in general, which should be a little bit higher, given that we have one more featured champion than usual in this pool. But also, of course, how many infamous Ironmen can he pull from 51? 51 shots, so to speak, for infamous Ironman, a.k.a. Iron Doom. And hey, one for two ain't bad with featured champions. And hello to Shuri, a champion that I don't love to fight, but at the same time, I don't know how good she is, right? Maybe she's amazing. I don't know. For those that have her and have her awaken, what do you think of her? All right, so one for three. And not all of these, he said, will be spun. And that is a second Ant-Man. That's random. Trolled over Benedict Spider-Batch. That's another champion that I think is going to be very valuable in Battlegrounds and certainly be highly sought after in this featured pool. I just wish that there were better champions in the actual overall pool that's not featured. Is that another Ant-Man? No, it is infamous Iron Doom. He is only four crystals in, and he gets a champion that easily he could have gone 40 crystals without getting. That is a 25% drop rate. Remember that, because it's never going to be higher than that. I can almost guarantee it. Uh, in fact, I will guarantee it. I'll put my reputation on it. That it's not, he's not going to average 25% infamous Iron Doom. That would be like 10 of him. Uh, there's a Mordo, though. No featured champion in sight. At this point, though, I would feel so good if I was him. It would feel like these 46 crystals are all kind of bonus. By the way, he just hit pop. So let's see if we can see a dupe of infamous Iron Man. He popped 10 of them. 51 shots. Wow. Alright, here we go. Five new. There's a Venom Dupe, a Shuri Awakening. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, a new Absorbing Man, a new Atuma as well. This is, this is going really well. I mean, I'm still kind of programmed in my head to think about Quicksilver and Galactus in it. And, of course, that crystal will never be here again. But, uh, man, even if he doesn't awaken him, I'm sure he's got some awakening gem. But 36 chances to awaken him, the odds are pretty good. Speaking of an awakening, he just got trolled on that awakening of Absorbing Man and instead landed on Mr. Sinister. Whaler, you must be feeling really good. By the way, he did not spoil anything, which I appreciate. When he sent this over, he just said that it was kind of a combination of spinning and popping and I appreciate that info, too. And there is a spot, one of the few champions that he had not opened. Kind of cool how half of his torso is invisible in the crystal. All right, 34. Black Bolt to Yondu. Spoiler alert, that was my first $50 purchase. Ugh. All right, 33 more chances to awaken Infamous Iron Doom, that guy. And Black Bolt finally is a champion that lands in the spin cycle. He's going to get a ton of seven-star shards, too. If this opening was to end right now, I would feel really good if I was him. It's crazy that he has over 30 crystals still left. All right, and Overseer, nope, Angela. That's a champion that... You never complain about adding 26. Not that I guess you should for most champions, but uh, yeah. Sig 40, good. All right, he popped another 10. Come on, infamous Iron Doom Awakening and Absorbing Man Awakening, Spot Awakening. The uh, RNG, the, the crystals having a hard time keeping up with this many crystal shards. Over 760,000 retail price, 765,000 to be exact. 
All right, we see ooh two Mister Sinisters, two OG Iron or OG Spider Man. That's classic. Oh my gosh, was that zero featured in that batch of ten? Talk about showing the full highs and lows of this game. Nope, nope, nope. Wow. Okay, that is just nuts. By the way, this is the video number two of two. Um, wow. Can you imagine if that was your only batch of 10? You would quit the game. Maybe not. Maybe it's just hypothetical. But you'd want to quit the game. And there's an Agent Venom. We haven't seen him too much in this opening. I haven't awakened mine yet. So he's actually at the top of the list of champions I'm cool with getting. And boy, Agent Venom with synergies, especially those new synergies. Talk about a Beyond God tier champion. Absorbing Man Awakening? No, it's Venom. He is on quite the streak of zero featured. Was that 12 in a row? Maybe more than that? Is he going to pop him? Not yet. Keep waiting for it. I would imagine he has an Awakening Gym worst case scenario. But obviously, if you don't have to use it, that would be ideal. And Sunspot. By the way, my uh, account is doing the same thing that his is doing, and it's showing the server warning every single time I play it, no matter what mode I'm in, Alliance Quest, Arena. So it might just be something that's going on with the game today. I don't know. Uh, all right. Here's another pop of 10 crystals. What's this? The third time he's done this? Last time, Team Pop was all-time terrible. It can't be worse than that. Uh, there is infamous Iron Doom Awakened. That's what I was looking for. What about, okay, and Benedict Spider Batch, Yon Dupe, King Groot, two white mags. That's fantastic. And it's not like he's awakened every feature in the pool, so he's uh, he's gotten real lucky overall. Obviously, he's got unlucky in some parts because you do ride that roller coaster, that troller coaster. And there's another Ant Man who started it off. So even if he finishes two out of 51, which is about a 4% drop rate, give or take, that's that's what it should be, right? 4.2% is the average drop rate of a champion in this. And that is an awakening of a Tuma, which I am also looking for since I got six star Tuma. And I'm not a huge fan of him on Awaken, but I had a couple subscribers last night say that Need him to be really be awakened to enjoy him. So I'm going to take them at their word and hope that I can see that on my account. All right, six more. Spot awakening? Wow. Yeah, great last bit. And there is the torso, awkwardly. He's going to pop the last five. Maybe he can awaken Absorbing Man in the last five. Maybe he'll get another infamous Iron Doom. Maybe he'll get zero featured. We'll know very soon as this concludes. Two more spots! Is that another infamous Iron Doom? Is that the third? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that was already counting. But this would be Sig 40 for infamous Iron Doom. Um, I don't know. What amazing data. Whaler, congratulations. I do think you um, you did well. You did very well. 51 shots at uh, six star Iron Doom, and I got him. I think he got him three times. So, only got Absorbing Man once, but again, he probably has an Awakening Gym for him. Either way, Whaler, thank you for the data. Thanks for keeping this under 10 minutes because of the popping. Thanks for watching.